again guys yeah um spoke to the vet about Rosabi and it's not really good um got to take him back on Wednesday uh but she said ring back Monday so you can get an early appointment there might be a cancellation but if not take him back Wednesday um it looks like he's he's on his way out to be honest um it's just that he's lost so much weight he's down to 35 grams now and um it's just showing the exact same symptoms as what Kizzy had, and uh, except mine is the tumour. Obviously, she had a tumour on top of heart failure. But it does, to me, it looks like he's on the first stages of heart failure, which is really sad, because I love that little dude. So, um, I'll keep you informed anyway, and obviously, guys, because I've got to go back to vets uh, in a few days just to uh, check his weight again. But there's nothing they can do. There's nothing... All she said is uh, put a nice supply of food out for him now, make him warm and comfortable. So um, she said don't worry about weighing, weighing out portions, just fill the bowl up, let him eat, eat what he wants. Uh, so that at least he's getting the nutrients he needs to keep him going. So um, I won't be using him in videos at the, anymore because it's not fair. I mean, if he improves and he gets well, then he will be. Because he's my special little lamb and he's, he always does all the demos. So I don't know what I'm going to do about the demos in future. Because Matilda, she's a bit of a sod. <laughs> but um, I'll keep you informed, guys. You can just keep your fingers crossed that he improves. And But knowing my experience with hamsters and knowing the way Kizzy went. and Kizzy was ill for about two weeks. No signs of tumour or anything. Then all of a sudden wash overnight this tumor came out came out of it from nowhere in her cheek so um took her to vets and they said uh like it's a tumor and everything and but she was already in the first stages of heart failure as well which i didn't know at the time but um so she for two weeks she was just going into heart failure which is what they found really in research that hamsters when they go into heart failure there's a few different stages it roughly takes about two weeks to a month depending on the hamster with Kizzy it took two weeks I noticed she was going downhill and then she was losing a lot of weight but um, don't forget guys she had a tumour on top of it whereas Arby there's no tumour come up as yet but I don't think he's got uh, tumours or anything like that because his weight's been going down for quite a while so the vet said it could simply be a case of old age and that he's not getting enough uh, nutrients and exercise to, uh, so his body's just eating himself eating into himself if you know what i mean so um she said that's why i just don't put little bits in his ball anymore these portions just fill the ball up and let him have a good good munch and then see if that works over the next few days I've just checked on him now, check on him every few hours and uh, there's another sign of heart failure is when the poop goes all round and soft and soggy. Now that hasn't happened up to now with a Zabi, but that's usually the last stage. It, with Kizzy it was the like, last few days of her life when that happened. But um, So she's not quite sure really what's going on with him. She, so... There doesn't seem to be a sign of infection or respiratory or anything like that. So she said there's two things it could be. She said diabetes, which she doubts because she asked me if he's drinking too much. I said no, he's normal. Or early signs of her heart failure. And if it's not any of them two, they should all, it could be just old age and that he's not eating enough to keep himself weight stable. So that's I should try him on this, you know, fill the ball up. So, guys, what I recommend is, because the vet rec told me that, is if you have an hamster and you're going through the same situation where all of a sudden the weight's going down drastically, obviously still take them to vets. You must always take them to vets, always. And if they find out everything, the vital signs are okay and everything and the weight's just coming off unexplained but no lumps and bumps, then do try. Even if they're healthy and they're elderly, just try switching 
um, because like my vet said, just try switching to normal weighing out portions. Make sure they've got plenty of fresh supply food. Because uh, like my vet said today, um, there's no no um, no need to worry about selective feeding at this stage of life. She said it, it's it's just they'll always do it anyway, even when they're younger. But she said just the main thing is just to supply him with food so he can eat what he wants. Even if he only eats the bits that and that he likes, and that's not really at least he's getting high high calories. Because she she said you need to boost his calories just to see if it could be nutrition problem. So I'm going to try that, and um, he's got to go back Wednesday, uh, is it Wednesday? Wednesday for his main appointment again, just to check his eye and everything. Um, but if it, she said if it deteriorates, and obviously ring, ring up and uh, get an early appointment. So I'm checking on him every few hours, making sure he's got plenty of fresh supply of food. Just uh, don't worry about the amounts, just top up his ball so that he can have a good rummage and... Uh, so I'm going to follow her advice and see if that happens. And, uh, yeah, up to now, I did that last um, I did that last night because, obviously, it was yesterday when I spoke to her because it's Saturday now. And uh, I just filled his bowl up and he was OK. He went in it and he was eating it. He's had a good fair amount and there's still loads left in there now. So obviously so we'll just see how it goes so fingers crossed guys but if it is i'm just warning you now guys that it might not be good and i'm preparing myself for the worst and i'm really gonna miss it's because the best hamster you could ever have i've said this numerous times in my videos he's a special little guy he, he sleeps on you he, he sort of likes to jump out on you and lie on you and he squeals, not squeals, he, he quivers with delight when you're stroking him and he's just a joy, an absolute joy to have. And um, he's going to be two in three weeks, the end of January. And I really want him to pull through and get to his second birthday. And um, so I'm just hoping and praying that it was just something simple as nutrition problem and ageing and... If I can get by that over the next few days, then, and he puts weight on, then everything should be fine. I'm going to weigh him every day. But if he's still going downhill, then me and the vet knows then. Because she did say if his weight goes down any further, then. So I'm just hoping and praying, because he's a lovely little dude. So I put my robo on hold at the moment, because obviously my priority is Rosabi. And um, I need to obviously care for him and nurse him and everything and make sure he's okay and i've got my other pets obviously my four cats and matilda but um i've not suspended that um cancelled the idea or anything i will be getting a robo sooner or later but at the moment obviously when you've got a sick pet any new pets that, that you want to get has to be it's responsible ownership you have to put on hold so yeah so that's bizarre news over and done with and I thought, well, why else well, so I was out this morning at Pets at Home? I'd pick up some more of these treats. Was, these are the new Pets at Home treats, obviously. So these are the um, biscuit arts. These are like the little love arts. And uh, the strawberry flavoured. And these are for uh, all small pets. But um, obviously it's not for dwarfs because of the sugar content. So... Yeah, I've already uh, did a video on the forage, the new forage mixes they did. That's uh, in my video list somewhere. So I did say as soon as I get treats, the new treats in, I'd get them all the time. So I have. Now these ones I also picked up. Let's have a see. I'll just pick the right up. Let's have a look. Aha, right. These are the baked raspberry and cranberry cupcakes. And if you can see, there you go. Just sort of like a cupcake shape. So, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to mix these together in one tub. So, there's still some more to get. I've got, got some more to get. I'll get some more next week. And then once I get them all, I'll put them all in one tub and you'll be able to see. So I won't throw the wrappers away. I won't open them yet till I get the others next week. And then I'll show you which one belongs to which in the tubs. But yeah, these are like a like a cupcake shape. Yeah, there you go. Like there you go. As you can see, guys, like a little cupcake. 
There you go. So yeah, again, for Syrians only, not dwarves. So yeah, guys, I just thought I'd show you them because I only went in for them today. I, I weren't really in the mood for getting anything. I nearly brought down crying in pets at home because I was telling the girl, it was the girl that was on, that picked out Rosalbi for me, believe it or not. Because she always asks me, how's your little guy? He was so chilled out, she says, when, when I uh, picked him for you. And, and then I told her and she was so sad. And she said, oh, I'm really sorry. And then that started me off. <laughs> so, um... So I just whizzed in and got these two and then uh, next week I'll have another look and see what else they've got in and uh, put them all in a big tub and uh, and then I'll do a treat collection because I've not done a treat collection yet so I must do that. <laughs> uh, but I won't do the seed the seed mix because you've seen that now so I won't put that in the treat, treat collection at all. It'll just be like these and the yogurty drops, stuff like that, what I've got. And the forage mix is separate, so you've seen all the forages. So, yeah, I'll be doing a treat mix, um, um, treat collection coming up soon. So, yeah, that's it for now, guys. And uh, I'll keep you informed about Little Dude, and fingers crossed. Um, sorry it's not really the best of news. And, I, and, I, and I'm assuming, and I, well, no, I'm assuming I know that most people really love Rosabi because I do watch the, the counter and I know Rosabi. The counter is more higher on him than Matilda. So I know that a lot of people seem to like watching Rosabi. So, yeah. So I'll see you later, guys.